uh, it's a bit of a challenge to turn this ugly tree into a potentially a good looking bonsai. Hi, I'm Milton Chang of Bonsai Heirloom. Today I want to work on this tree for several reasons. In the past, all my trees are somewhat prepared uh, because I've been kind of cutting them back over the years uh, to kind of be uh, kind of ready for making it into a bonsai. But this tree is a little different. I got it from a sale uh, in my club and I chose this one today for several reasons. One is that uh, it's a bit of a challenge to turn this ugly tree uh, into a potentially a good looking bonsai. Uh, the second reason for choosing this tree is that this is actually an oak tree. Uh, many people are interested in, uh, can I turn an oak tree into a bonsai? Uh, the leaves doesn't reduce uh, very much, uh, but it does reduce some. Uh, this is actually a valley oak, which is a giant uh, tree. In fact, a good friend of mine, Nicoletta, uh, has in his garden, his yard, his backyard, a uh, one of the largest uh, valley oak uh, in the Pleasanton area, in the whole area, and it's made into a heritage tree. And uh, so uh, this tree, on the other hand, has been uh, worked on for some time, so it's small. And you can see the leaves almost look dead. And if you can find a tree like that, at an auction, you're probably not gonna, you don't have to pay very much because uh, nobody's gonna like it. Well, but maybe you can, we can turn it into a, uh, a nice uh, bonsai uh, to show you the uh, potential of um, uh, turning something ugly into something beautiful. So with that in mind then, let us get to work. Again, this is a valley oak uh, that can be very large. And uh, uh, as you remember, we work on a uh, live oak uh, apparently, uh, California is a is a rich state for uh, rich for um, oak trees. I think we have something like uh, ninety some varieties of oak. So uh, here's one. This is uh, in a growing pot, and in fact, uh, the root has protruded from the one of the holes, and that shows you uh, one way to grow thick trunk is in fact to uh, grow your tree in an oversized pot and let the roots get out into the ground so that it can um, benefit from the soil below uh, to grow faster. So one way to thicken the trunk, as I said, is to plant it in an oversized uh, nursery pot. Many of you are interested in growing uh, thicker uh, trunks quickly. So growing in a big uh, oversized nursery pot has the uh, really the advantage of both worlds. Faster growing and easy to uh, dig, it up, uh, dig it up. So you can see um, in uh, nine months, a tremendous amount of roots has grown and not very many fibrous roots because uh, uh, there is trying to send out long shoot, long roots to uh, tap roots to uh, to get nutrients. This is nothing more than just regular garden soil mix. I'm just removing the top, and here's a, a seedling from a mulmay tree, which I will save. So again, let me um, expose the roots first so I know uh, where I'm going with it because the roots are such an important aspect of a bonsai design. Uh, so I would uh, try to comb off some of the uh, roots to uh, the soil to see, expose the roots. So as you can see, uh, as I comb uh, the roots radially out, uh, some of these roots are going out radially nice. Uh, but this one here, a uh, fairly dominant root is going sideways. Uh, that's unsightly because you want the trees to have uh, roots that are um, radially uh, grown out. 
So with that in mind then, I will actually try to cut off this. Uh, on the other hand, I hope something will pop out this way along from here to go out. So I will cut it a little bit out, but leave a little room for just in case uh, there's a root there that can be extrapolated later. So the, the good roots uh, in my uh, garden is not accidental. Uh, rather, they are trimmed fairly carefully along the way to make sure there are no crossover roots uh, to be ugly. Uh, these stainless steel tools are rather nice because I can, they can stand a lot of abuse without rusting and I can leave them out or forget us and somehow. So this is broken. So this will eventually root out so I don't need to clean it up too much, but just make sure they're not connected. But if it's connected in the bottom, that could be good. So this is the root, uh, which you can see, the base is rather large compared to the trunk, which is desirable. So uh, till next year, see what happened to the roots. Now, well, this tree looked dead because uh, the, um, uh, this uh, oak, uh, the valley oak is actually deciduous, but the leaves doesn't fall off altogether, but they turn brown. And um, in the wild, the trees are very tall, they catch the wind, and the, the, the wind actually will blow off uh, these uh, uh, leaves. Uh, to make it look really nice, uh, the silhouette of the uh, branching. And that, that's what makes the valley oaks very desirable. They're very stately uh, without the leaves in the, in the winter time. Uh, some leaves are this size, and uh, some leaves are only this size. So they do reduce uh, after, after they, it has more ramifications. So it is not a bad candidate. And uh, uh, so I think it will be educational for us to work on this tree and let it grow a little bit longer and uh, in a year or two we'll put it in pots. I think that would be very educational. Uh, so when I saw this tree, uh, it looks terrible, uh, but uh, you can see there are buds coming out everywhere. And also if I scrape the bark, you can see it's green. So that tells me the tree is well alive. Now I have this tree on hand, what do I do? Uh, I can make this into a double trunk with this side as one trunk and this, <laughs> and this side as uh, the other side. And uh, I can, for example, use this bud to let this bud shoot out. Uh, and then I, I cut it off right here. Uh, and then the, and this side I can uh, decide what to do, maybe make this side a little taller. So maybe I'll even start here, cut this side off. And um, hopefully something will shoot out to make the apex. And that, that's what you do uh, to shape this tree. So you don't want a, a tree grow out of a crotch, so to speak. Uh, and, uh, and you can clean up uh, the dead branches in the meantime, uh, dead leaves in the meantime. And since this is already going this way, I want this tree to go that way too. So maybe I use this as a, the, the one that's uh, gonna be the lead. And then this go to the side. It takes a few minutes to clean up, and then when it shoot out, it, you have plenty uh, more branches to work again. Um, you want the uh, angle to be sharp and drastic, but nothing weird in the sense of, nothing weird in the sense it has to follow the rules of nature. And you clean off uh, redundant branches you need, the less is more, because they only serve to distract uh, when it's unnecessarily there. Now, for example, if I scrape this part, it's, it's dead. So I really don't think I wanna, I think maybe I just cut this off and make that into a chin to show a little age. I, I, I think the oak is a reasonably hard wood that will, may or may not last. 
uh, actually I found a live oak, uh, the branch, uh, the, the trunk uh, the, uh, will actually rot uh, outside in the garden. So uh, it would not be a good candidate for like this, it, it's dead. So I'll actually just clip it off uh, to uh, make it leave a little stump maybe for feature looking, but that's it. Uh, this tree will be uh, like this. These two are not very interesting, uh, not very good looking because uh, that's uh, like a branching. So what I'll do is actually cut off here. Hopefully this branch will shoot out here for me to do uh, an arrangement. So for example, I said that doesn't look very well, but uh, would that look better? Uh, it might. Um, so for example, if I, so I have two options. Like right now, uh, I have this one looking terrible. Now, if I tilt it this way, uh, the soil will be here, expose this part of the roots more than the other side. Um, I can have, I have a tree going out this way and uh, uh, the tree goes up that way, uh, which looks okay. So one possibility is to clip off right here. And that still looks a little weird. So I can cl cl clip off this one. It will be a tree like this. And then this, this branch goes out this way, uh, in a sense, this way. I think that could look interesting, but let's try that just to show you the design possibility. I may not stick to that. It's all about a learning process in these videos. I hope uh, together we can come up with ideas for, uh, to improve the bonsai technique that we acquire. So like this tree now, uh, this still look bad, but if I do it this way, it doesn't look as bad. I can, especially if I cut this off and make this the branch, uh, we can do that later. Um, I think we're, doing, we're okay. And this is a dead branch. So let me just cut that off. Yeah, it's dead. So now you can see it's a fairly clean tree. Uh, on the other hand, if I don't wanna do that, I can cut this off and hopefully this will branch out, send out new shoots. Uh, actually, this is a little bit risky because I don't know if oak when with this kind of a rough bark will actually shoot out. Uh, I know up here will shoot out, but not sure down here. So with that in mind, I think I'll be conservative uh, and let it grow a little while this way, see what happens. And, um, you know, then decide next. In fact, you can tell me what you want me to do. I can either let it be, go this way, have an interesting tree. This tree is going, this is a branch, lower branch, and that will thicken and, and get taller this way. Or I can make this the apex and cut it off and shoot out here uh, to make that the lower branch. So write me, tell me what you think I should do. I pretty much think uh, an easier thing is to cut this off and hopefully this will shoot out. If it doesn't shoot out, I can do it this way and it's still a nice tree. So, and because this will shoot out to fill out this hole. Uh, we shall see. So with that in mind then, uh, I will end this video. In short, uh, buy a tree that's in the winter time, uh, make sure there's still a lot of green there and a lot of buds. Don't be, over, uh, don't be overwhelmed by the, uh, the brown leaves uh, because that's just part of nature's uh, way in the, in the fall. Uh, and then try to get the angle that you really like so that you can uh, uh, make it into a nice bonsai. Uh, and then just go for it. Well, thank you very much. I hope you like and uh, subscribe to our channel so we can notify you of um, upcoming um, videos. Write me about your ideas of what I want to, how I should do this to treat this tree. And together we move forward. So thank you very much. See you next week.